And 13 years later, we got through the loading screens. So where are we at? We are in Red Cliff or just above Red Cliff Village. Let me move this here, please. Thank you. And we found out that Alistair is the bastard son of King Merrick. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> there was no time to Mute. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Uh huh. Have you come to help us? Uh. I just see our Lehman. The Arl? Then you, you, you don't know. Has no nobody what? out there heard? No what? The fuck are you talking about? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. We got no choice. We gotta see the Arl. stands tall. I'm just a little bitty thing. I'm a dainty elf. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Okay, nope, not all of us are dead. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Okay, so, <clears throat> how evil are these things? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Dude, you don't even know me. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? Okay, I got questions. By all means. Okay, is there a way to get into the castle? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. 
Okay, what happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. Okay, so how come you fuckers just didn't leave? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. Okay, so... Something's manifesting undead. Then you will help us? Yep. There are no darkspawn here, and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Hmm. She's tempted to say, well, why don't you fuck it? You know what she's gonna say? If you don't like it, leave. I thought you were better than this. I still think it unwise. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Now, I, I want to talk to you. Of course. Let's see if we can get more info about what attacks the village. I feel he'll just say the same thing. I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses. Men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. All I know is these things don't fall easily. You hack them to pieces and still they come. Okay, so that's Majory. Alright, you got Arleman's Knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Oh, you mean the Urn of the Sacred Ashes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. All right, well, let me go see what I can do. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Oh, Stan don't like me. Well, Stan can go fuck himself. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his Mother and father are fucking dead. That's why. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I want to go home. Where is father? Father's dead, guy. I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Okay, who are you? So. Irenia? Yes. I have a letter from Blackstone Irregulars. All right, let me take a look. Why? What did he do to deserve this? Yay! Jeddah. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Oh, uh, you're Jetta, right? I am. You've heard of me? Uh, yeah, uh, they're both dead. I... I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. All right. Make his blessings upon you. She's got a nice rack. Hello, who are you? Caitlin? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. No, you're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just... I can't help myself. Oh, I'm God. so frightened. Those... those things dragged my mother away. 
I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Oh God, I Everywhere. shouldn't have talked to her. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Okay, why would he run off? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Ah, uh, yeah, if, if I find him, I'll keep an eye out. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. That's I'm the so scared, father. The what are we going to do? They're there. Silence, girl. Do you want the... If the kids don't know that everybody's dying, they're fucked. But night is coming. The monster... Night's not coming yet. We're not ready for this. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. There we, we go. The men we meet. And their numbers just keep growing each night. Oh, sure, they take the day. What's back here? <gasps> Death root. There we go. Oh, I saw it. Let's get started. What does that say? No swimming? Shark attack, no swimming. Okay, huh. what's over here? Damn. How do you get around this place? What's in here? Knock knock, bitch. Stan, crack this door. Oh, I'll just boot it in. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Uh, dude, you're talking to a mage. You might want to check yourself. You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. Smart the boy. to win. Pleased to meet you. Now. Kindly tell me why you're here. Looking for a canary sword. You broke into my house for that? Yes. Surrender the blade before I lose patience, dwarf. So it's your sword. Farron didn't mention he took it off a live giant. This guy's kind of hot. So cough it up, baby. You know, that sounds like a great idea. That's right. Now, why don't you take your sword and leave? All right, bye. Good. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hey, Liliana. Just, mm -hmm. Let's go over there for a while. Key required. What? Where's it at?
We did get the sword, right? We talked to this guy already. We talked to the guy in Orzammar. Remember, he's standing right outside. And we got here, but we don't have the sword. I swear we might as well leave the door open if people are going to keep coming in and out. Okay, what are you doing in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Oh, so you're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Is it die here or die out there? So... That's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Good man. <laughs> Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Okay. Well, we fucked up Sten's quest. Somehow. Oh, there's another door. Do we kick this one down too? Caitlin's home. Oh, hey! Hey, child. Small child. Let's get started. Upstairs. Maybe he's up there. On it. Tell. Key required. Goddamn keys. Oh, hey. You approach the dresser, something moves inside. You're a short, surprised intake of breath and then silence. Open the dresser. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. The fuck, little Please, kid? Don't hurt me. I'll go back to the chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. What's your name? It's Bevan. My my sister is Caitlin. She's probably at the chantry looking for me. No shit. So what are you doing in here? I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Oh, come on. You could. Alright, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. You don't I say. If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took mother. Revenge? That's good. So where's the sword? In the chest. In mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Ah, oh, come on. I can use it to save the village. I... I guess you're right. That's right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? Father would have if he were here. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. You too. Yay. Finally, we got a key.
The green blade. Okay. There we go. Let's get started. She's basically looking around the village, looking at stuff. Still no sign of them coming back from the car. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, it looked like you were. If you did leave, I doubt we'd still be here when you got back. I'm just saying. Calm your tits, I just want to check out this house. How the fuck did we get all the way over here? Oh, does this go all the way to the castle? See? We gotta talk to this guy. Right. Man, people are needy little bitches. Windmill. As you wish. Oh, a love letter. No word from the castle? No, all is still as it has been for days. Natural state. Draste's grace. As though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives and I will not listen. That is a gift for, oh, there it is. All right, here's your sword, bitch. To your Strange. Chatter. What? I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. Okay, now what? My sword is in my hand again. I should put it to use. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended. Don't you agree? Yep, let's do it. Then lead the way. Nice. I didn't think about looking at gifts. Oh well. Leliana. Oh, wrecked. There we go. Here you go. This will help me get back in her good spots. Flowers? For me? <gasps> They're beautiful. Smell them. These were her favorite. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. It's okay. It's okay. So how are we doing? He cares. Got a gift for him too, don't we? Is that for me? Yep. Really? Yep. Nice. <sighs> now that everybody's good. Let's see if we can't get a little smushy smushy time. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Okay. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. 
We've been in Denerim like three or four times. Who did you want to see? It's not a former lover, is it? <laughs> a former what? <laughs> no. Do you honestly think I would suggest we go see together? No. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only I never knew about her. Okay. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Okay. Uh, have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Well, next time we're in Denver, we'll look her up. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Okay. Well, no smoochies, but there we go. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I will see you on Wednesday with more Red Cliff zombie action.